benefits that can, can be accounted for. Research and development has to play a key role for increased productivity, competitiveness, responsive, dynamic, and sustainable livelihood. Technical development needs to be embedded in a broader development agenda. How do we promote science and technology innovations in agriculture? Direct government funding. Government funds research institutes. Donors are funded um, research institutes. Then there can also be contracts. Yesterday, I think we were all here when we went through some of them. There are improved conditions of service for scientists and provision of tools. This morning, we were hearing about people brain draining to other places. We need to improve incentives for them to stay. And then also to attract new ones. Intellectual property rights, they are good when innovation has a market value. Otherwise, there's no point. We read about, we saw about prizes and awards, which would be good when we can specify the outcome, but not the method to get to that. There has been a lot of emphasis even this, uh, right now by Andy Hall, about public-private partnerships. Higher education has to be delivered in an innovation systems approach. We need to move from just a professor staying in his office and developing the curriculum, we have to be done participatory, which involves all the actors in the food and agriculture value chain. 
we have to put emphasis on experiential learning. We have to create an opportunity for students to go on practical attachment to farms and other agribusiness um, um, firms. The access to information and learning is the bedrock of information, of, of, of innovation. Continuous or lifelong education to upgrade competencies, um, teaching policy makers, some policy analysis or other ways. You, they have graduated from universities, but this is a way to, to help them. Farmers going to farmer training centers or farmer field schools is a way to continuously um, train, I mean, give education to farmers. And I said a little bit about um, the innovation, sorry, the learning pyramid, that um, you shouldn't just go on be lecturing. You should let people do things, or even teach others, where the farmer teaches another farmer. Repackage um, our, maybe our extension programs or whatever. Sharing of knowledge. Farmers require a wide range of knowledge from different sources and also need